Good morning, happy Saturday. So we're gonna do a whatever comes out for you today. We have Romance Angels, we have the Muse deck, and we also have the Stranger Things deck. So welcome to your reading. Libras, remember these are general, so not all of them will resonate. Pick up what's yours, leave the rest behind for someone else. Upon meditation, you have the Queen of Swords. I'm gonna show you the card up close. And we do have a feminine energy there amidst a lot of red hues, a lot of magenta. She's standing on a volcanic rock, it seems. Lots of flamey energy and lots of fire. Although you are an air sign in the zodiac, this can be the energy which surrounds you today, which is fire. It could be blazing hot. Uh, there could be a subject around you which is of concern. Also, um, I'm going to read out of the book just so that you get the tone for the message today. So we have Queen of Swords. This is Libra. This is your Zodiac and your Major Arcana. So I'm going to put that here and prop it. And this is the whatever comes out at you reading. It says here on page 85, it says Queen of Swords. If you get this upright in a reading, you won't find a better gamer in all of the Hawkins than Max. Max is one of the main characters in Stranger Things. With her confidence, willpower, and outspoken honesty, she perfectly embodies the Queen of Swords. She emboldens you to think quickly and on your feet. Trust your assessments and trust your evaluations. Act fast and accordingly. You may find that today you need to make a snap judgment in some way or another. The Queen of Swords inspires and indicates that you have the clarity now that you need to make decisions and adjust to your life and say whatever is on your mind. Others will follow. So that's the Queen of Swords. It's a very brief explanation from the book. That's your energy today. It almost was the chariot. And then once I finally did the shuffle, the Queen of Swords was face up. It was very beautiful for your morning energy. So we're going to see what's coming at you with the Muse deck. Whatever comes out, okay? So whatever the message is, is what we're going to describe and talk about. That's going to be the main topic of discussion. <laughs> Good morning, guys, as well. So we have one for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, North Node, Librans as well. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to get those off the ground. They've been getting on the ground lately. <laughs> so we have the Ten of Wands. Major message from this card today is that the Ten of Wands moves you from a place of struggle and a place of confusion. Some of you a difficult period, very, very select few of you, and she's carrying pottery there. She's leaning on a lot of identical versions of herself as the staircase, but she's going to a safer zone. Sometimes this is depicted in the Rider weight. As you guys remember, it's like going to a hill uh, or going to something better or a carabao taking you or a horse. So this is that same energy of rowing to safer waters. When I see the Ten of Wands, it gives me sort of the healing effect of the Six of Swords. It's almost moving yourself to better places. So that Queen of Swords, this actor, could be taking you to that safer place today. We also have the devil. So there's something of a toxic habit or maybe a toxic way of thinking. Maybe for some of you, it's how you deal with situations. Uh, it could be interactions with other people too that really influence uh, the way that you believe in things. So today, this is the message to avoid is this uh, devil card, Capricorn. You could even have a Capricorn you deal with uh, physically. What does Libra not see coming? Give me the not see coming energy. Thank you, Spirit Flipper. We have the Nine of Cups. So this is coming out again in a different deck. We do have the Nine of Cups here, which is ultimate happiness and wish fulfillment. For some of you, your wish fulfillment is on the horizon. You can almost feel it. You can almost smell it. Uh, today, this is the message because although there's this Queen of Swords about you, uh, you could feel like you still want this contentment amidst all the array that happens in your daily schedule and the people that you sort of surround yourself with. This is the message to stay in your Zen and it will follow you through. So trust the process. This is one of those things where you have to take a step back in order to take, take a step forward. So I think this Nine of Cups is coming in probably around Sunday for you, this wish fulfillment. Also, you could have woke up on the right side of the bed today a little bit happier than usual. You could have a skip in your step once you get some physical uh, physical movement going. Give me more for Libra, please. Bottom of the deck. We have the Nine of Wands. 
the Page of Swords, somebody's looking in on you, the Seven of Wands, and the Awakening card. Some of you are having a confirmed awakening with this. So from the Muse deck, it depicts somebody waking up and finally seeing that the rays of light that have been protruding from their window for days are actually a deeper message. It's a deeper book cover. It's about seeing the rays as an awakening and a change in the self. So these are deep things. These are karmic cycles over. Also relationships with people that have binded you down, they're finally over. And the awakening card is kind of like the confirmation in this deck. Um, for those of you that even have ne have never had access to the muse or have seen it in person, um, this is sort of one of those extra bonus cards that they put in there to confirm of an awakening. Uh, some of you are going on reawakenings and you've had maybe two or three of them on this path, especially here if you're in your mid 30s to your early 40s. This could be one of the very many awakenings that you're starting to learn a lesson over and over again. So there's something here for that. I feel like somebody is actually seeing that this awakening has happened multiple times. Uh, it could be from photographs of yours, Libra, or it could be from something that you post. This page of swords is very curious about you. It could be a Gemini or an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, it could be any sign. They're looking in on your situation because they're very curious about your, your aura and yourself. Um, oh my God, the door closed by itself, but the heater's on. <laughs> so, <laughs> I do feel like uh, some of you have this energetic pull that is a part of you. So it could be due to your aura. Uh, I feel like a lot of you here have a bright interchange with colors. People can see from the things you say, from the things you post, Libra. I feel like a lot of this is online. So for some of you, someone's looking in on your situation and we're going to clarify who that person is today. We also have the Nine of Wands, which means you're dealing with your soul survivorship very well. A lot of you are coping right now um, in healthy ways. Some of you have decided to meditate. Some of you have also decided to go off and be on your own, maybe alone walk in nature here, or you listen to music often for healing. Some of you a longer bath than usual, um, or maybe here just like a spa day, a mini spa day for you. So that's working. Um, I see here in the cards that it's almost like this devil card is like a way of thinking. I feel like this is some, for some of you, it's a, it's an unhealthy pattern. Um, I don't know if it's something that you go into and you try to get yourself out of Libra. Maybe it's a, it deals something with depression. So I, I do see that because you're very protective still over yourself. And that could be because you've gone through this many, many times, okay? So along this journey and awakening, we kind of hermit too much and someone's kind of noticing that you're missing <laughs> Page of Swords. That's the research card. I also do think that's somebody spying on your situation, okay? Trying to wonder about you and also look into the situation. Clarify Page of Swords and Seven of Wands. Why is Libra in this energy on November 12th? What's going on with the Seven and the Page of Swords? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have a Knight of Cups. So there's a water sign. Doesn't have to be. Again, these are just in generals. I feel like somebody tries to approach and then they draw back their energy. They try to approach again because it's the energy is clear. This Knight of Cups has a very romantic feeling towards you. For some of you, it's a crush. Somebody who really likes you, likes your energy. Again, you have a very bright aura on the on the regular. Do you see this aura back here? That's Libra. So this Knight of Cups is going to come in. And uh, I feel like they're going to try again with you, Libra, because they're being clarified by the Page of Swords, which is the ultimate spy card of the deck. So I do feel like this person looks in at you at times. Lots of romantic energy. I do feel here that there could be some contact, okay? Maybe writing you something with a pen, um, expressing their feelings for sure. Give me more here on the situation today. What is this situation revealing to the Libra? What is this situation revealing to the Libra, please? Could you give us clear messages, angels, and guides for the Libra watching Page of Swords clarify the situation? Thank you. Eight of Wands. I'm sorry. Why I keep calling the voices wands in this deck. I'm sorry, you guys. So this is the Eight of Swords. This is Libra. Okay. 
uh, you can be an Aquarius and, and have Aquarius in your chart because this does relate also to Aquarius. I feel like for some of you, it's something that you believe about yourself, which is incorrect. The Eight of Swords is a boundary that we've created. It's an imprisonment. I, I feel like this person is letting you know that you don't have to have this quality about yourself. It's, it's almost like it's false and they're here to prove it to you. Um, it's something that you believe about yourself and this person sees the complete opposite beautiful end of the rainbow about you. It's almost like they see the truth about your personality. That's a beautiful message because the Knight of Cups is super romantic, loving. Um, you can trust them because they come in with really loving. It's slow though. Very, very slow energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have strength. We have the Hermit and we also have a transformation that is looming. This person is part of the story, okay? Uh, they're very curious about you because they feel like they can bring this out in you. I want a little bit more here. Page of Swords clarifier for, for this storyline today, please. Main message for the Page of Swords. Because I feel like all your other cards are, are very simple in today's morning. But I, I feel like this Page of Swords really does love on you for some reason air energy um they could be a water sign they could also be a fire sign here today because you have wands twice on the board give your relationship a chance okay so the main message is work on your partnership whatever partnership this is for you today i feel like this person heavily believes in the fight they also believe in love and they want to come in and remind you of that okay maybe how much you mean to them um, next in line is chemistry. So if I were to keep going, the chemistry card is underneath, clarifying that there's a strong magnetic attraction. This magnetic attraction is this person looking in on you, okay? So there is a Knight of Cups. Um, you might see this energy throughout the day as well, okay? Thank you. This was your morning message. <laughs> I will be back a little bit later where I will show my face on camera. Have a good day, Libra. Thank you for picking up the messages. I'll talk to you soon.